guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so to start off, I've been loving this Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer. It's so amazing. It's like spackle for your face. I highly recommend it. And then I'm going to be taking my one of my favorite foundations. I call it foundation, but it's technically a BB cream. It's by Dior. It's the Hydrolife BB cream. And I'm in the shade Luminous Beige. And I just take a couple pumps of that and put it all over my face. I really love this product because it's nice, lightweight, and luminous, and it just really melts onto your skin. So if you have any clients or if you have any texture, it really just smooths over all of that. I'm just going to put some lip balm on. And now I'm going to go in with my favorite Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. I love this concealer because it's full coverage, so it covers almost anything if you ask me. And it dries down. It's just amazing. And then I'm just going to blend that in with the Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender is like my ride or die. I love the Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to take this Maybelline Brow Stylus Pencil. And this is in the shade Blonde. It comes off as soft brown. And I also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. Such an amazing combination. I highly recommend you guys try the Maybelline Brow Pencil. It's so amazing and creamy. Then to contour my nose, I'm going to take the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium. It's just a really nice concealer. Always just blend it out with a beauty blender, and then I just took some concealer that I use, a Tarte Shape Tape concealer, down the center of my nose. And then I'm going to set everything like under my eyes. I'm going to bake with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm obsessed with this. I used a small brush at first, but then I used a beauty blender because it just packs it on. Now I'm going to tap out all the creases. And now, and then I'm going to use my one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is by Tarte. It's called the Clay pa Clay Play Palette. Sorry, such a tongue twister. And all matte shades. Love this palette. Highly recommend it. I'm just gonna use a fluffy blending brush and apply that and blend out the edges. And as you can see, I use a pressing motion, not like a windshield wiper motion very much, just to really pack on the shadow. And then I'm going to take a concealer brush and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in a lighter shade and clean up that area because I went too far with the brown shadow. And I just use the lightest shade in that Tarte palette to set that so that it's really nice and bright. Lily! I love Lily. Everyone, this is Lily. For some extra depth in my shadow look, I'm just going to take this dark brown color and pack that on, keeping it pretty low. Now I'm going to wipe away all the fallout and all that extra baking powder. That sounds so funny, baking powder. 
Then I'm going to go in with my favorite matte brown eyeliner by MAC. It's a technical liner, and I'm just going to line my lash line. Just a line straight across, no wings. That's what I use on a daily basis. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara. It's a drugstore mascara. It's by L'Oreal. It's called the Telescopic Mascara. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. It's very lengthening and separating. It's my favorite mascara. Then I'm going to go in with a pair of lashes. These are comparable to the Miami Lashes by Lily Lashes, but the specific pair that I'm using, I got from a sample. I got a sample from a wholesale lash site because I was thinking about coming out with my own lash line. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment in the comments down below. And then I'm going to line my lower lash line with my transition shade that I used first. And And then to contour, I'm going to use my favorite bronzer. This is by Too Faced. It is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And to highlight, I'm going to go in with the Ofra Cosmetics Everglow Highlighter. I had a lot, a lot of texture in my skin when I filmed this video, so it doesn't look the best, but whatever. I still like to wear highlighter even when my skin's not at its best, and I think you should too! Because so many people are using skin filters these days, and this is what real skin looks like, I feel like. I've got big pores, texture on my skin, but I still have to wear highlighter. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite lip liner it's by mac it's called hover it's just a really nice warm tone brown it can it goes with almost every every color if you ask me and then i'm going to put my favorite liquid lipstick this is by Too faced it's called the melted matte and it's in this shade Hol holy chic and to finish off my face I am going to use my favorite setting spray, it's by Morphe, it's a super fine mist and I highly recommend it. And I felt like I'd add a little gloss because uh, gloss is in now and my lips were a little dry. So this is just the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. And that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you all later. Bye!